One is that it may be an innovation that has a huge impact, mm -hmm. or it may be a huge innovation that has a small impact. Mm -hmm. And both are equally valuable. Right? So all those things can be considered. See, that is why, even though this is a very easy PT, a great one, I think, to do every time the class is a little bored, it has significant impact because you can take various areas and say, let's pick an innovation in, in the field of medicine. Let's pick an innovation in the field of education. Let's pick an innovation in the field of military. Right? And then, then, then let's discuss it here. That is where the impact is. Made. Right? And, and uh, it's, it's an engaging one. So how important that the art artifact have computational thinking in it? Or does the project have to show some sort of problem that it solved? That is the artifact. Is PowerPoint a good one? Is a website a good one? Is that a digital artifact? Is that a computational artifact? Just something for you to think. I'm not saying that this is right, this is wrong. I just want you to think. Uh -huh. If I do a website, do they turn in the URL or can they? Very good question. Um, I think if they have a website, purely because if they turn in a URL, for your class, it's no big deal. And I don't think Dr. Gray is expecting you guys to turn the URL and turn it to the grade. But let's say this becomes an AP course and you have the URL. I would think that the student can go back and improve on your That's what I was thinking. So then I would think if it came down to a website, they would actually do like a video recording like Camtasia or a screencast, and we're just going to talk about that in another five minutes. Just like how in the CAPT, they create a snap blockchain, then, you know, they're going to turn in the snap code, but that's not enough. They turn in the video of how their program runs. So similarly, you, you put the recorder on, and then you go on the website, you click on each of the menus, you click on each of the links, and you talk over it, and give them a walkthrough of the website. And you turn that recording. I would think that would be about it. It's important. So you would do a screencast of your website and how it works. That's right. Perfect. That's very nice. You just got to make sure it's going to still be there when it's looked at. It may not, it, I would think, right, Joe? It doesn't need to be That's there. That's why I would take a video. Right. Because if all you did was give a link and then, you know, you didn't pay the bill and they closed the domain down. Well, one of the right. things I thought it said is you have to say the date in which you look at it. Uh huh. I had project ideas. Mm -hmm. Again, this came from the same rubric that the, student, that the teachers did. So something please to look at. Uh, this PowerPoint will be there. Google Glasses smartwatch incredibly popular. I cannot tell you how popular the Google Glasses is. Have you seen I it's on it? And it's honestly hard to do the algorithm and the abstraction inside like that. Mm. It is hard. Teaching them is hard, getting the students out. These I found it very hard to teach my students to uh, try and understand the algorithm behind Google Glass. I myself don't know. Okay. What are the things that they should discuss in that artifact, right? Our leaders are going to talk about the various artifacts, various tools that you can use to build artifacts, but possibly these are things. Again, there is no hard fast rule of what I put. I just pull this up from here. This is your Bible, right? And I would this is, give this to them as soon as possible. Let them have this portfolio performance tasks. And let's do lots of scaffolding activities around it. <coughs> 